Hey guys, what's up? This is TFV Gaming here and welcome to a tutorial series of FIFA 23. Today we'll talk about all the skills in the game that are the easiest to perform and only require a button or two. These skills are the most effective when you use them on the field and they help you to find some space in crucial situations. The first skill move in the list is the roulette. This skill move is in the FIFA franchise for about 17 years now and is still the best move when it comes to taking out your opponent. When to use this skill move? Simple. Whenever you feel like you're about to face your defender in full speed, perform the roulette head on. This skill move is the best when performed aggressively since your player will use his back if timed correctly and the ball will be shielded from the tackle. To perform the roulette, turn your right analog stick in a 180 degree motion from the player's back to the player's front in a semicircle. This motion, when done from the left or the right, will decide which direction your player turns his back. The ball roll is another classic that still rules the FIFA franchise. This skill move is performed multiple times in a typical FIFA game and even real life football. The concept behind this is simple but effective. The skill move is just to drag away the ball out of the way. That's it. Now it can be either to take the defender on one on one or drag back turning away to analyze the situation or even perform another skill move just after it to add more unpredictability throughout your attacks. The best FIFA players in the world always involve a lot of ball rolls throughout the attack to make the opponent guess where they're gonna pass to. To perform the ball roll, just hold your right stick towards the left or the right of the player and you can see the ball roll. The bridge was added last year in FIFA 21 and it's used by everyone in the community because how good it was. This year as well the bridge is there in the game and it works the same way. When the skill move is performed, the player knocks the ball around the defender and catches the ball on the other side of the player. This skill move has been in FIFA since years but you could never control it before, until last year. It can also be used as a speed boost since the players literally start running fast to reach the ball. The skill move is very good to draw fouls in the penalty box and you can even use this skill move to outrun your opponents in the midfield to make some extra space for your attacks. To perform the bridge hold the L1 R1 button and flick your right stick in any direction to see the bridge on your screen. The La Croqueta was added in FIFA 19 and is one of the easiest skill moves in the FIFA franchise. This skill move was performed by Di Maria in the Champions League final to assist the goal that helped Real Madrid to win the match. This is straight up an overpowered skill move and even the most newbie players can learn this and perform it instantly. The way you use this skill move is that whenever you're ready for a 1v1 situation, you go close to the player you're facing and then you perform the La Croqueta. You can also stack the La Croqueta since it's a press and hold button skill move and to perform the La Croqueta press the L1 button and then hold your right stick left or the right of the player. Open up fake shot is the skill move we'll talk about now and this skill move is used by Kylian Mbappe in real life when he tries to take out the goalkeeper. This skill move is also used as a speed boost as it helps you to go through the defense of the enemy forcefully. The open up fake shot surprises your opponent since it is something that happens in a flash and the animation of the open up fake shot is quite scary since it's slow in the start and then it accelerates so it's really hard to defend at times. This move is really good if you want to do it one after the other and it's also quite useful to take out the goalkeeper. To perform the open up fake shot press the L1 button and then point your left stick in any direction and then perform a fake shot. Stack 
step powers in FIFA are not a new thing, but in FIFA 22 they are quite easy to perform. This skill move is used by Cristiano Ronaldo as everyone knows, and step powers are generally used to bait your opponents. The use of step powers is to make your opponent guess whether you're gonna turn to the left or to the right. Whenever you start doing step overs, make sure you analyze your opponent's movement so that you know where to turn when they get close to you. Step overs are really quick moves and they help you to change direction in a flash. Thus using them almost in every attack is a very good habit. To perform the step over, you make a quarter circle like this in your right stick, then turn the left stick in any direction to exit where you want to. The standing fake shot is an easy skill move that you can perform in your FIFA games to surprise your opponent and it only requires two buttons. This skill move is used to come to a stop basically when you're running down the wing and your opponent thinks that you're gonna keep running. This skill move helps you to come to a stop and make your next move before they tackle you. The standing fake shots are used to take down the pace of your attacks so that you can perform a skill move just after it. All the skill moves that I mentioned in this video are performed and combined very well if they are done just after the standing fake shot. To perform the standing fake shot, press the shoot button and then press the pass button and make sure you're not holding anything. And you should see your player come to a halt instantly. The flick ups are the best move when you want to play with your opponent's minds. You can use the flick ups when you're winning the game like 2 3 0 and you want to frustrate your opponents so that they make rash challenges on you. And you even want to do flick ups when you're in the penalty box so that you can make your opponent foul you and you can get a free penalty out of this. Flick ups are generally frustrating to defend against and very unpredictable. The best part is that they are very effective and require minimal skill to perform. To perform a flick up, click your right stick that is the R3 button and then flick your stick towards any direction to perform the flick up. If you like the video click like, if you're not subscribed now is a great time to do so since I'm uploading brand new FIFA videos almost every day and turning on them notifications is a very good way to stay updated. Until then, goodbye.